we studied some out of the book of Corinthians this morning. And we're looking at chapter 10. Lesson. <clears throat> in verse uh, 1 of chapter 10, Paul, again, as he's writing to the church and over in the... the uh, uh, the, the verse of the chapter before that he was talking about the powers that he had and that uh, he needed to use them and he did use them we know and here uh, he's saying moreover brethren in verse 1 of chapter 10 I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Now, Mo, uh, uh, Brother Paul here, he's speaking uh, concerning uh, Moses and how that the things that Moses did was such a great uh, work and, and how that the Lord blessed. And he says, and verse 2, And all were baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followeth them, and that rock was Christ. Amen. But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our example to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted neither be idolaters as some as were some of them as it is written the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play of course you know in this this was Aaron's uh, uh, time when Moses was uh, going up on the mountain and they said uh, where is this uh, Moses, that we don't know where he's went. He was going up there several days, but anyway, uh, Aaron, Aaron uh, said to, that the, they asked for another god, and Aaron told them to pull off their the gold, golden earrings and stuff. And he told Moses, when Moses come back, he said uh, they pulled them off, and I pitched them in the fire, and the calf come out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that sometimes is. Uh, a lot of times our excuse we uh, like to bypass it and, and say well it was somebody else's fault and like Adam and Eve you know uh, Adam said she gave it to me and I ate but anyway I want to read something in the book of Psalms this morning concerning this that I've read in uh, 106 Psalms 106 Chapter 106, verse 1 of the book of Psalms says, Praise ye the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Amen. This is a very, very good uh, a verse here, and it's something that we fail, I think, miserably. Uh, if you all do like I do, you fail miserably in giving God the praise that he deserves and remembering that all things, all things come from God. Amen. And that uh, we are uh, under His authority and He takes care of us. But He says, For His mercy endureth forever. Amen. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all His praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the Amen. favor that thou bearest unto thy people. Here the writer of the psalm is saying, Remember me, O Lord. And he called upon the Lord many and many and many times in the scriptures. And this is one of the things that we remember about David was calling upon the Lord and remembering him. But he says, Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. And he's talking about these people that were led out of Egypt into the wilderness. And he's saying, remember me with, that, with, the, with the favor. And we know this morning, we'll read this in just a little bit here, how that the Lord favored the children of Israel, how that he did all of these things for them. And yet they spit in his face, they mocked him, and they, they disobeyed him, and they did everything, even grumbled to, Mo, about, uh, to Moses. 
And so he says in verse 5, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that Amen. I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. And he's saying this, uh, remember me with favor, that I might be able to do all of these things. And this is something this morning, you know, if the Lord, if the Lord don't bless us and encourage our hearts, we'll not remember uh, things that we've heard in, in, in preaching hour and Sunday school hour and in the teaching hours. We'll not remember a lot of those things. Right. And we, we can sit back and, and lay back and, and remember some of those things and rejoice in the Lord. And this is what David is, is asking the Lord for, to make me to remember, let me to, let me to understand, remember these things. He says, verse 6, and here's what, here's what uh, David is talking about. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. And he's, he is referring to the, his fathers as back at when uh, they followed Moses. And Moses was trying to lead them and obey the Lord and do what that they would. He says, we have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. Right. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. And and we this morning that study the, the Bible know that the thing with the Red Sea was that they were all there and they were uh, scared to death about what Pharaoh was going to do to them. And the Lord opened up the sea, give them the path to go across and close the sea on their enemy. But he said here, our fathers understood not thy wonders. Mm -hmm. they, didn't, they didn't really understand what was going on with them. And even though that God had led them out of Egypt and had uh, uh, provided many, many things for them, they still didn't understand because they were, uh, as Stephen said, they were stiff-necked and uncircumcised in the heart. And so here we see uh, in verse 7, our fathers understood not thy wonders, in Egypt, they remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them mm -hmm. for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. And this morning, you know, we we wonder about will the Lord will the Lord be with us? Will He answer our prayers? Will He do this? Will He do that? Listen, He will. Amen. He will. He will answer our prayers. And listen, He won't do it like we feel like He will, but He'll do it in His own time, and He'll do it in His uh, when it's the best for us to have this answered. And He said here, uh, uh, here in uh, verse eight, uh, in a. Uh, let me get to the format. Nevertheless, he saved them from this, that he might make his mighty power to be known. And this morning, that's something that we need to try to understand is how that we can glorify God and how that we can upgrade his name that we can raise Amen. it up to a lost and dying world and, and give give them the knowledge that God can get the power out of it. And listen, we'll if we can if we can just continue to trying to do that i think that the lord will bless us and and send us some people to fill these seats mm -hmm. uh, uh and we'll have more than 17 here and but seven but hey I, I mean i'm not grumbling about the 17 but the thing of it is uh it would encourage the 17 to sarah to see two or three more come in and so he said here nevertheless in verse 8 he saved them for his name's sake that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also. Now how, and I, want, I was trying to study this, how did he rebuke the Red Sea? Well, he stopped it in midstream. Mm -hmm. One didn't go one way and one didn't go the other. He said the walls built up on both sides of that and so he rebuked it. He stopped it and he halted it and he let those children go across. Now he said here, he rebuked the Red Sea and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And that's the same, the same thing that they didn't understand when they come out of Egypt. He led them right through that Red Sea, uh, through that wilderness. And he, he gave them that uh, cloud 
to uh, overcast them during the night and that light to shine during the day. He gave them the manna that they ate off of. He gave them the rock uh, that the water, when Moses Amen. had the rock, he gave them that fresh water. He gave them everything that they needed, but they wanted something else. They wanted to go back to Egypt and get some more of their garlic and melons and stuff like that and be uh, 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 beat on and, and cause them to work and all this. They wouldn't accept what God gave them. And our, my problem is this morning, I know my problem is that I get in the same condition and I do not want to accept. This flesh just don't want to accept it, people. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's sinless. I mean sinful. And it Amen. just don't want to accept it. But here he says, here in, in verse 10, and he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of his enemies. Now, this morning I couldn't tell you how many times, because I don't know, how many times he saved me from being hurt, being killed, being uh, hungry, and all of these things. He's, 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 he stopped all of these things. And listen, I don't know how many times, and you don't either, because right. listen, You've not, you've not experienced those things. And until you experience them, you won't know them. And until you experience them, well, uh, you'll, you'll have to just say, Lord, the Lord is blessed. Here, he says, notice here, he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. Now, how did he redeem them? And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Amen. Then believed they his word and sang his praise. And they were happy. Listen. They were happy for a little while. Right. And they crossed that Red Sea. And here they go off down through there and I notice. But they soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. Right. He gave them their request, but sent leanness unto their soul. Right. They envied Moses also in the camp and Aaron the saint of the Lord. And the earth opened up and swallowed up Danthan and covered the company of Abraham. And a fire was kindled in their company, and a flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eat gra eateth grass. Right. And they forgot God, their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt. Wondrous works in the land of Ham and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore, he said that he would destroy them, and not Moses. His chosen stood before him in the, in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. So, back in our lesson, we wanted to read that to, to kind of get across what that that Paul is talking about here, saying, "I would that you wouldn't be ignorant." And we, this morning, it wouldn't hurt us a bit this morning to read Psalm 106 every day and remind us, make us make a reminder of that, that the Lord is on the throne, that the Lord Amen. is protecting us, that the Lord is providing for us. And so Paul said here, Brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat. And so they had what they needed out there. Amen. The spiritual meat. They had it. And and did all drink the same spiritual drink. For that drink of this that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. And here we see that that they were crying for water and they cried to Moses and Moses cried to the Lord and the Lord, the Lord told him said you go down to that rock and you take your rod and he says I'll stand over on top of it and you strike that rock and listen it worked Amen. and the river flowed out of that rock and they all got all the water they wanted 
But the thing of it was, Moses always kept that behind in his mind about what, what he did and how they acted right after they got all they wanted. They started murmuring about wanting something to eat and he gave them all this manna and then they weren't satisfied with the manna and they wanted some meat. And he gave them the quails. But all in all, Moses remembered these things and then Moses got in trouble. Because Moses, they cried out again to Moses, Ah, we gotta have water, we gotta have water, we gotta have water. And he said, the God said to him, Go down there and strike it twice. No, 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 he did, I'm sorry. He said, Not strike it, but speak to it. Mm -hmm. And so here's the thing Moses was upset with the people. And I, I can just imagine how upset he was and he went down and struck the rock twice. God honored the strike, let the water come out. But God said to Moses, you can't go over to the land of promise. Mm -hmm. He missed, he missed a great, a great thing. He let him see it, but listen, he got in trouble with these crying people here because that they would not obey what God said and, and, and God had showed him, showed them his 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 good works all through this trip through the and through the land uh, after they left Egypt through the wilderness but they just wouldn't do it people and listen uh, sometimes sometimes I get so ashamed of myself sometimes uh, of not not just not trusting the Lord like I should and that's that's where we're I'm failing my I'm failing the Lord, but not really trusting Him like I should. And here, I, I, I want I want to I want to show you some things here that that will, will help. Maybe it will it will help you and to to because we go hey we've got such a good thing. Amen. We've got such a good thing, people. We we just got such a you talking about you talking about a place where the honey and milk and honey flows. We've got it, mm -hmm. but we refuse to take it. We refuse it so many times, and, and it's a hard, and you say, well, why you, because listen, we do. We do that. We're, we're just not, we're not thankful for what we get sometimes. But anyway, I want to read something. Look, at, look in uh, verse 7, the, uh, number 6. Now, these things were our example to the intent. We should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. So we've got an example here. David wrote it. It's in it's in, in Exodus again. But we've got an example here of what they did, and, and it's for our our good. And we're not to do these things. <clears throat> but he says, "Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play." And I made a little comment on that. This is where uh, they get the uh, Aaron helped them with the cat. Neither let us commit. Fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. And we this morning are blessed, uh, e even as, as God's mercy is so good to us and so great to us, and yet He holds back because our Savior Jesus Christ is sitting there on the right hand of the Father making intercessions for us and, and saying, hey, they're my people. They're my people, Lord. Don't do this to them because, listen, this nation could have been swallowed up many, many hundred years ago mm -hmm. by other countries. But listen, he's blessed it and he's, and he's watched over it. And I know it's because that Jesus Christ sat there and, and made, made excuses for us or said, hey, they're my children. Uh, Forgive them and let them stay there. And listen, we're 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 a proud nation, and we're a large nation, and we're a strong nation. But it's all in the hands of God, and God is is protecting us yet. And yes. that, there's no there's there's not but one reason why that He's doing it. It's but it's not because we're all so good. But listen, Jesus Christ, our Savior, is sitting there, and He's saying, Father. Uh, uh, Put that, put that to my account. Put that to my account. Put that to my account. And he's, he's putting, and God is putting it off. And he's putting it off. But people, listen, it won't be forever. Because right. 
we we're 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 going to pay for some of these things that we've we've done as a as a country, and I know we've 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 worked with the Jews and helped the Jews and all this. But listen, this country this country is mean. Mm -hmm. This country is mean and it's it's sinful and it's going to have to pay the price. Right. So here, he says in in uh, verse uh, uh, nine, neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. And of course, again, we see here that they were complaining, they were murmuring and all of this, and, and, and God sent those old, old serpents uh, in, in there and just bit them and killed a, 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 a hundred and something thousand, I think it was. But, but here in verse 10, neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of, of the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition or our warning upon whom the ends of the world are come. And so again, we, we, we have to look at this as an example of what we can expect from disobedience to right. It's, it, it, I mean, and you know, all you can do is say, thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us. Praise his holy name and, and ask him to forgive us. Uh, forgive me of my sins because, listen, I'm, I'm sin. I'm sinful. And, and, and we're all sinful. Mm -hmm. And here, now all of these things happen unto them for an example. Now I've read, wherefore, in verse 12, for, wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. And again, we, we know, we, we like to boast and brag on ourselves and say, well, I believe I'm in the will of the Lord. I believe I'm in the will. Well, I hope we all are. But the thing of it is, you need to do a little soul searching and, and get a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Because the closer you can get to the Lord, the better off you are. And here he says in verse 13, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful Amen. who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bury it. Amen. So I, I, I just, I think of this so, so many times. Listen, he'll, those things come upon us, but if we'll, we'll, we'll stay true to God, Listen, through that temptation that has come upon us, there is a pathway through it. And we can go through that and God will bless us. And listen, we'll be, we'll be uh, uh, not uh, stopped by this uh, uh, temptation, but we'll be able to escape it. So now, wherefore, in verse 14, wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry, and I speak as to wise men, judging what I say. Amen. This idolatry, worshiping the world, and the things that it has to offer, it's idolatry, and we don't need we don't we need to lay it aside. We don't need to have it. And uh, but we 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 cling to a lot of it. But listen, he says in verse 15, I speak to wise men, judging what I say. The cup of blessings which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. And that bread is Jesus Christ. So he said, the whole Israel after the flesh are not they which eat of the sacrifice partakers of the altar? What say I then? That the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? The idol is nothing. Amen. And here he says, But I say that the thing which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. And this morning, uh, sometimes we we touch base with the devil mm -hmm. uh, through worldly lust. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord 
and the cup of devils, ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the and of the table of devils. And so we cannot we cannot hold on to both. We're going to have to serve the Lord, or we're going to have to uh, say, "I'm going to go with the devil. I'm going to go with the world." Because listen, there's there's that that mixture don't work. Uh, and he said, there in one place can a stream uh, send forth salty water and, and fresh water at the same time? No, it can't. But here he says, do in verse 22. Uh, I mean, in uh, you, you see. Uh, let me get to it. Yeah, 22. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than He? All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's will. So I want I want to so Paul is writing all of this, but I want to before my time is up, I want to show you something here this morning. Uh, in James 4 7 it says resist the devil and he'll flee right this is something that we need to practice this is something that really uh, when the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit speaks to our hearts and and says hey you don't need to do that you don't need to do that now listen if you don't speak to your soul listen there's something wrong Amen. If the Holy Spirit is speaking to you this morning and, and He's trying to warn you of things like this, listen, you need to resist what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Because that's what He's He's speaking to you. He's a comforter to you. And He's speaking to you and said, hey, you leave that mess alone because it's of the devil. And so what He's saying is, in James He says, you resist the devil and he will flee. And so that's one of the things that we, we need to practice more than what we're doing is, is, free and, and is, is resisting the devil. And then one other thing I wanted to say to you this morning after this and, and, and all, of, all of these things that, that Paul wrote and all these things, he, he says, O oh, wretched man that I am. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like, I feel that way sometimes bad. You know, old wretched man that I am, I, I, I cannot get close to the Lord. Sometimes I, wanna, I want to uh, study His Word. I can't get that close because I know there's something somewhere that's interfering with me studying His Word. And so I understand what Paul is saying here. Uh, he, 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 he went on to say some of the, the things that I want to do, I don't do them. And some of the things that I don't want to do, I do them. And so uh, we're we're caught we're caught in this terrible net. And uh, we all we can do is wait patiently on the Lord and try to uh, uh, think about what the the Word says to us because we're 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 headed we're headed home. Amen. We want, we want to do what we can do. So uh, uh, I, Paul was uh, Paul uh, Paul had a rough time, and uh, mm -hmm. the, he uh, the Lord the Lord sent him out to a, a worse people, I believe, than Moses was with, because uh, the people did that. If people didn't uh, recognize what Moses said, and a lot of the people just didn't understand what Paul said, and so anyway, this is uh, this is some of the readings that I I wanted to read to you because uh, uh, I, I read them and I studied them this week and and listen, uh, I needed it, uh, and I don't know if it, if I got across to you anything, but I know God's word will speak to you. Amen. Uh, uh, it may be not today, but it may be tomorrow when. Uh, devil comes to you and you remember hey I'm just to, to flee that so thank you all for listening to me and pray for me that I might be able to uh, do a better job next week thank you all Man.